back to the Metairie Bank Studios at WBOK. It's your morning cup with Warren Bell. Yes, we are back. It is 634. That time during the morning cup when we normally have our newsmaker segment and this being a, well, a beautiful day. That's not normal, (laughs) but uh, we are in fact here with a monthly feature. You know, Metairie Bank makes it possible for us to do this program, and we are more than happy to allow them on each month to bring you another installment of their Money Matters segment. We talked last month with Miss Elaine White about the overall home mortgage programs at Metairie Bank, but today we have Miss Marina Mandanares, who is here to tell us about a, a very particular aspect of the, the home financing programs at Metairie Bank Marina. First of all, welcome. Guys, she was in here 20 minutes early <laughs> waiting on the other side to come in, so they must have told her you be on time now because <laughs> this is radio. You can't wait an extra five minutes. Welcome to the show, first of all. Buenos dias, senora. Good morning. Buenos dias. Thank you so much for having me here Love today. Love having you here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Are you from New Orleans? Grew up here? Or? No, I'm actually a transplant. Ah. I'm from Miami. Ah, um, but Miami. I, <laughs> <laughs> but I consider myself a New Orleanian now. I've been here since 2001, so this is oh, definitely heck. home. 17 years. Well, <laughs> yes. So you were a baby arriving, obviously. Uh, was, yes, of course. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> this is radio, folks, so we don't have Facebook Live hooked up or any of that stuff. Yet, but we will eventually. So we talked about overall affordable housing, uh, or about housing mortgages last week with Miss Elaine, but, or last month with Miss Elaine, but uh, first of all, there is a unique program for first time buyers in particular that you're here to talk about today, right? Correct. Yes. Share with us, please. So at Metairie Bank, we're really proud to have and, um, have created a program that is for those individuals that are low to moderate income. Um, and to make it affordable and to for them to obtain that and reach that home ownership dream that we all have. So um, this program allows them to um, not have such a big down payment uh, requirement, um, as well as it does not charge them PMI, which is private mortgage insurance, that um, it's basically just an insurance that covers the uh, lender. Um, usually, in order for you to avoid that, you would need to put a 20% down payment, which could be a pretty hefty uh, piece. Because that's the figure when people are thinking about that first purchase. Normally, you're told you better have 20% down. Yeah, exactly, but so that you could avoid the PMI. But if you're looking at a... Say even a modest house these days is going to be in the two hundred range, possibly three hundred if you're a growing family. If you're gro- so that, that would so mean coming up with a pretty darn large that, down payment. So how does correct. this avoid that, Marina? Help me understand that. So Metairie Bank sat around the table and came up with this program to where we would not charge the uh, PMI. Um, it's a prog- It's a product that we keep in house, so we're not selling it in the secondary market. We ah. service that loan, so you make that loan with Metairie Bank, you're making that payment for 30 years to Metairie Bank. So any issues that you may have with your loan or, you know, you may need to a little bit of an extension or you could just come into a branch and make a payment and, you know, um, not have to worry, did it get there on time or do, when I call someone, am I speaking to someone locally and things of that nature. Because that is an issue so often. You hear about people who say, well, next thing I knew, a year into the contract, suddenly I was told that someone else held my mortgage, and now they're nowhere near as nice as the people who talked me into it. I would almost said seduced me into it. (laughs) But at Battery Bank, you're saying if you're in this program, you never get sold off to someone else. You do not. You stay with us. Usually um, mortgages, they, if they're going to be sold in the secondary market, I mean, you look, you, that happens like within the first month. So, yes, you start getting statements from a company that you've never heard of before. I think they call that, I, I, I was selling the paper, huh? Yeah, exactly. Something like that. Yeah, right, exactly. right, 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 right. And if this is exclusively for first-timers? This is exclusively for first-timers. So people have not have a, or had an interest in a property in the last three years. So a lot of people think like, well, I bought a property for whatever reason. And I might have sold it, especially after Years Katrina. Earlier. We did see okay. that a lot. Um, as long as you have not had any interest in a property in the last three years, you would qualify to be a first-time home buyer. So let's talk about income requirements. I'm still trying to remember everything Miss Elaine shared with us last last month about how people calculate those mm-hmm. formulas. But I, I guess the bottom line is when you visit a branch, 
someone's going to help you do that. But what are those income requirements, household income wise, etc.? So just to give you an idea,、uh, for this particular program, you cannot exceed a certain income requirement because it's for low to moderate income、um, home buyer, you know,、um, home,、right. home other words, household. In, in other words, to take advantage of this. You can't exceed a certain Correct. amount. Correct. Correct. So the good news is, if you're not making what you like, it might be an advantage in this particular premise. Correct. Explain so, that. So the、um, the requirement is 80 percent of the area medium income. So just to give you, I know that sounds very broad. So just to give you an idea, a family of four cannot make over 50,650 in a year. So that would be the income a family of four, a household of four, cannot exceed when they file their taxes in a, you know, that year. And that fifty thousand plus annual income figure is actually based on whatever the census says is the median income right now for that size family in the New in Orleans metro area. area. Correct. Right. Every area has a different、um, uh, median income, and that changes every year.、It、usually comes around May.、Um, right now, we're still working with the 2017、uh, figure. That HUD provides to us. But using that family of four figure, if someone's out there listening and fits that mold, correct, the income max is say again fifty thousand. Fifty thousand six hundred and fifty as of today. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Great.、Uh, and it's it's actually calculated to be eighty percent or less of whatever. The census tells、oh, you once census, a year. Oh, the census is exactly. Is that it? Now,、mm-hmm. so what do you need for a down payment? We threw out that figure at twenty percent, but it sounds as though that is not the demand made by this particular affordable mortgage program. Right. So this product so it makes it affordable because it, usually the hardest part of a an acquisition of purchasing a property is going to be. Um, the down payment, what people need in order to actually get into the house. So,、um, if that's not affordable, like a 20%、uh, down payment,、um, so what we did is we brought it up to 97% uh, financing. So that means only putting 3% of the purchase into the、uh, prop. Into that's a the huge difference. That is a huge. In a $200,000 house scenario, then instead of needing $40,000. Just to say, this is my down payment. You're talking about six thousand. Correct. A Correct. little bit easier to scrape together. Correct. Even I could do that. Correct. <laughs> Now, the way that we would calculate how much house you can afford、ah. is going to be based on the income that you have. So we would make those calculations when someone comes into the bank. They,、uh, we will sit with them. We would go over their financials. You know, how much are you making? How many live in your household? So that we can determine if you fit that 80% category. And then from there, we will say, okay, this is based on your income. This is how much house you can afford. The bottom line being, neither Metairie Bank nor that person wants to really get into a scenario where, with the kind of income you're talking about, well, I want a million dollar house. Correct. That Correct. Th- that picture is not going to play out. It's not going to play. So what we what we do is we do not exceed、um, from their monthly income. We do not exceed a thirty percent. So. Um, if their house, no, if their monthly income, just to put it really simple, is a thousand dollars that they're bringing in, so their monthly note cannot exceed three hundred dollars. Oh my! Right, and that's including your、uh, principal, interest, and insurances. So we just want because we want to make sure the whole reason for that is we want to make sure we, do, we besides although your、um, household expenses, you know, your note is going to be your rent. Your mortgage is going to be the you highest. You still have to live, and all those other things. Right. Correct. You still have to pay car insurances. Those things are not reported on your credit report, and we know in Louisiana that's quite high, right? Yeah. So yeah.、Um, you have utilities. I mean, if you have children, kids are an expense. Oh, we all know. <laughs> on its own. Now, now we worry about having money for grandkids, but no,、uh-huh. believe me, been there, done that. Correct. Yeah. So, so and the bot, what's inherent in all this, Metairie Bank wants to be a great citizen and a great. Community partner, but at the same time, you don't want to entrap people into something that just realistically、They、is not going to work for them, income-wise versus outflow of expenses. Correct.、Wise. Exactly. Exactly. And, and again, private mortgage insurance is something normally required in a situation like this. But as long as people meet these other requirements for this special program, that is a burden they may not have to bear. That they will not have、uh, by qualifying into this program. 
I'm still getting over that 3% figure, and I saw it last night as I looked over the notes that Metairie Bank sent, but that, is there anyone else even doing anything like this as far as you know? or As far as no PMI, um, there's a few. The key here really is we are that we, it's a portfolio product that we are you keeping keep it in-house. You the loan in-house, which Correct. is a huge, it's a huge, difference. huge advantage and, and difference. And I would tell you, um, years, well, after Katrina, um, I remember being in, uh, in banking, um, and a lot of people, one of the, the scenarios I always tell my customers is, um, let's say you have that situation where there's a storm or you have some sort of disaster in your area, and, you know, when the insurance companies pay you for yes. um, whatever damages, you know, your home um, suffered, that check is coming because you still have a mortgage, right? So that check is going to come to the name of you, yourself, and your mortgage company. So imagine if your mortgage company is all the way in Maryland. So exactly. now you have to send that check all the way over there. Right. So here, with having this product at Metairie Bank, you're just walking into any of our branches. Go right over the Jefferson Highway to see Roy or Correct. the main branch where everybody is and everybody knows your name. At least I've made sure they know my name. I'm the loud <laughs> mouth who comes in acting like he, he owns the place. <laughs> When, in fact, we know the big boss is my, my friend, Mr. Ron Sanford. I hope he's listening now or perhaps to the audio file. We do want to give a special shout-out to Mr. Sanford, who called us last week, who called me last week to say, you know, I actually support the idea of a power plant, but i got to say I support what you guys are doing because we would never attempt to tell WBOK what to do when it comes to its news coverage, etc. And so we're in it with you, and we support what you're doing when you take a stand against corporate bullying. Thank you, Mr. Sanford. Great let, man. Let, yeah, oh, <laughs> you know, he really is. And the thing that struck me, and I, geez, my commercial talks about that, I was involved with Metairie Bank, as you know, mm -hmm. through the African-American Male Wellness Walk. And we made a presentation, and he immediately said, we're in. But he said some things that I always remember, and I'm not going to paraph I'm not going to attempt to say this is word for word, but he says, you know, as other banks fail, and we won't say who he was referring to, he said, I'm clear other banks need to step up to the plate to share some of their good fortune with organizations that are trying to do good things right here in New Orleans area. And so you're going to see us more and more, and I really appreciate that. I hope this is a manifestation of that, uh, the partnership that we've developed with the good folks at Metairie Bank. I've got my Metairie Bank card in my pocket. <laughs> uh, but But one thing we always know is an issue for folks, What's your credit score? What's your credit history? And this can be a problem for low-income folks who've had to struggle to make all the ends meet. What are the credit score requirements in this scenario, Ms. Marina? So for this particular product, the credit score, the minimum, it should be a 650. Um, now, one of the things that we do require for this product is for people to attend a home buyer's uh, counseling training session. Um, in that class, they, if there are any issues that have to do with their credit, they would work with them to resolve them. That way they are ready to make right. this big purchase because this is a big purchase, you know. So you want to make sure that your finances, not just, you know, that, oh, yes, I make the money, I can't afford it, but that everything else is in line where it should be and that you're able to, uh, you know, make all your payments on time and because we don't want to add more obviously right we right. don't want that on right. your end and we don't want to be the one the bad guys having to call so we would make sure that before you get to this program you are prepared and that you are ready to make this this decision because the last thing metairie bank wants or the home buyer wants is to get in and then realize omg i can't afford because it. that credit history if it is in fact a red flag for you to proceed what you're saying is you've got this this multiple week long counseling. It's kind of like first time home buyer it classes first -time that, home buyer. that our friends at the Neighborhood Development That's Foundation. That's exactly, do. and we same partner idea. with those, is the same. Those are, so that is where they would go to do the first time oh, home buyers. So right. your partnership is with it's NDF, with them, correct? And my with, buddy with, Fred with, and, and exactly all of his. Fred Johnson, I, actually, oh, absolutely, to him yesterday. yes. So yeah, so we do partner with um, any of the um, uh, housing agencies that are through the uh, collaborative in the city. There's a quite a few there that are HUD certified um, counselors that would walk individuals through that process. So you make sure they scrub the credit history, cleanse it, if you will, so that when you're actually doing the paperwork, all that stuff's it's been resolved already. It's already been resolved, right. So and the home buyer is 
a better, smarter, wiser from the standpoint of habits, yeah. paying bills, etc. Absolutely, et absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So we will make sure we, we. And I always tell this to my customers: just because you're not there does not mean that you cannot come and talk to me. Um, I have these conversations with people who are not ready. Um, sometimes they just don't know where to go, how to start. So a good start is just. By asking Come a in question. Right. And, Talk and, to and say, I heard about this on WBOK Radio. Who's that young lady who was talking? Let's quickly go through the steps because there are specific steps. Step one is to enroll in that first-time home buyers training. Is Correct. that right? Yes. Take us through the list. So you're going to do your first-time home buyers. So regardless of it, if you already know that you're going to be meeting this, this is your income as of right now and that you're looking in the next, let's say, year or so to purchase a home, you do need to have this um, home buyer's training under your belt. So go ahead and get that taken care of. If there are any, like I said, if there are any credit issues, they will be found at that time because that is part of that process. And you will be, you know, go through that process. Once you've completed that, um, you would schedule a consultation with a Metairie Bank loan officer like myself. Like yourself. Okay. Correct. And we will go through several steps to get you pre-qualified. Um, this is just something very simple where we're just going to ask you some questions about your income. Uh, we're going to pull your credit to make sure that everything is in order to make sure that you do have, um, so, so that we know how much house we can actually lend to you. Right. This um, is kind of like the pre-approval correct. steps. Correct. Okay. So this pretty much just lets, lets you know, okay, this is how much house you can buy. Right. So you cannot go look at a $200,000 home. If I told, if we gave you a $160,000 pre-qualification, because then you're not, you're going to be out of that box, right? In other words, if I can't really afford a brand new $100,000 Beamer stay in my lane exactly. or at least become more realistic before I walk into the, the right. parking lot of the right. car dealership. Next, right. I guess, is getting an agent. Then at some point, your, you need an agent. So right? after that, you get your agent. And the reason I tell people to come and speak to us before you find an agent is because that is actually one of the first questions the agent is going to ask you. Okay, are you pre-qualified? Right. Do you know how much you want to buy? Because they need they need some guidance as to what to look for you, right? And the agent doesn't want to waste his or her time either. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Now, and then another thing that that pre-qualification letter does is that it gives you a little bit more negotiating or more power when you are putting in that offer to the, once you find that property. Because now the seller knows that you are serious about this, that you are ready to move forward. So um, so once you do that and once your offer is accepted, um, you would complete what it's called a, a purchase agreement. Your agent will help you negotiate all that. Um, and once you get that purchase agreement completed, signed by both parties, you'll send them over to us, um, and we will begin the process of your loan application. That is actually when your loan actually starts right. processing. Right. So that's when we have a complete application. Um, once we get that um, the final the loan approved. We will um, guide you to schedule your closing um, uh, to a, with a closing, a title company. They will schedule the day that we would close on the loan. That takes some time because they have to do some title work, of make course. sure that the title all is clear. Been there, done that. And then after that, we just show up at the table and go over all the documents, and you sign, and you walk out with And bring key. lots of ink because you're going to be signing your name lots to of lots of and So lots that's of one spots. of the things that you always see. Title companies have <laughs> lots of pens. <laughs> Phone number for Metairie bank or for your office to get more information about this affordable loan sure. program? So my number is 504-832-5674 and that is my direct line and I'm at the uh, main office of Metairie Bank. On airline. On airline uh, I like to I'd make it simple for folks. If you're heading to Sam's, mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> Sam's is going to be on your left, but you're going to see Metairie Bank's big old headquarters on your right before you get there. Thanks again to Marina Mandanares. <laughs> I've been saying it right all along. Look at me. You did great. Well, there's a beautiful woman on the other side of the aisle. Uh, you, you know, I get distracted so easily. Uh, they didn't you. diagnose things as ADHD <laughs> way back in the day. I want to say thanks again to all the good folks at Metairie Bank, our sponsors every single day here on the Morning Cup, and we certainly appreciate them for that. Thanks to the Morning Cup team, to my sports director, Ro Brown, to senior producer, Lee Hardy. We'll be back in 23 hours with another edition of the Morning Cup, including a conversation with Ricky Jackson, who's about to celebrate his birthday with some free prostate screening for all the guys out there who 
maybe are experiencing a few issues. We, we can talk about that off camera, guys, or off mic, guys. Uh, in the background, the Dave Bartholomew Orchestra with Concerto for Alto Sax performed by Mr. Warren Bell Sr. way back when in the 1960s. My name is Warren Bell Jr. I'm checking out of here, y'all. Have a great Wednesday. <laughs>